Teachers, please ask your students to rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join us for a moment of silence. afternoon, Southport. These are your announcements for Friday, October 25th, 2024. As you may know, our boys soccer team has made an incredible run through the state tournament this weekend. They play in a semi-spate uh, match at Martinsville where they will face Bloomington South. That contest is scheduled for 6 on a Saturday evening. In order to help our students attend the match to support the team, the athletic department and the student booster club are sponsoring a fan bus for the cost of the ticket, $12. Students will get a free transportation pizza. T tickets can be purchased in the athletic department today through dismissal on Friday, 10 25th. If you, have st if you have students who are interested, you can share this link. On Wednesday, October 30th, we will, we will administer a state mandated PSAT for all 9th, 10th, and 11th graders. The detailed schedule for this week is provided below. We would like you to make you aware of a recent mailing or email some families have received regarding National Honor Society membership. The letter in the mail may ask for a, free, for a fee to join, but please note that this is not affiliated with the National Honor Society. Chapter at high, Southport High School. We kindly advise parents not to pay this fee as it does not contribute to your students' academic success or future opportunities. AI Boot Camp is hosting intro to artificial intelligent boot camps on November 2nd, 9th, and 16th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., specifically designed for high school students over the course of three Saturdays. Students will participate in bu building their own AI systems. They, they gain a clear understanding of what AI truly is and what it is not. See how AI plays a role in their daily lives. Um, dive into the ethical aspects of AI technologies and explore much more. Also, can we give congratulations to the three girls from cross country who made it to regionals. Fantastic job, girls. <laughs> Who do we have here today? We have Mr. Francis here today. What is your job at Southport uh, High School? So I am the theater teacher and director here at Southport. What do you like about being a theater teacher? What I like about being a theater teacher is that, well, first and foremost, I get to do what I personally love every day, and every day it is always something new. What got you into theater? What got me into theater was actually my mother tricking me to auditioning for a show when I was in fourth grade because I always loved to like sing and dance and I loved music and she actually tricked me into auditioning for The Wizard of Oz which is my all-time favorite of all time and I got cast as the Mayor Munchkin and then I got bit by the theater bug and then I've been doing it ever since. What's your favorite part about being a theater teacher? My favorite part about being a theater teacher is 
really sharing what I love with the students because this is something that I've loved like again ever since I was little so seeing them either experience it for the first time or share the same appreciation that I do for the theater is something that's really special and I also love to see like those light bulb moments of like kids that maybe have a hesitation doing theater or did not think that they would enjoy it and then really end up enjoying it and succeeding doing it. Where did you learn how to teach? I, well, I graduate, well, I should say, I first learned how to teach from my mother, because she is also a teacher, so I always kind of was like, oh, I don't ever want to be a teacher, because she was a teacher, and then, hi, I'm also a teacher now, um, but I graduated from Ball State University, so that's really where I kind of learned the rest of my teaching skills before I got my job. Why did you come and teach at Southport? So I came back and taught at Southport because I had a really good experience when I student taught. Even though I did student teach during COVID, um, I did not have many students in a class. But a part of me that really wanted to come back was because of Miss Roberts, who was the previous theater teacher here. Um, even though she is no longer with us, I almost felt as if it was like a duty because I loved working with her when I student taught. And it was really kind of a dream of mine to get to work with her. So I feel like stepping now into her role, I'm doing a little bit of that service of still being able to work with her and uphold what she was building here. Um, I also had a lot of good relationships here at Southport. So Miss Richardson, our choir teacher, uh, like we are bestie, work besties to like our core. We love each other so much and we work so well together. So that's why I wanted to come back to Southport to kind of have that community and that sense of belonging with all the people that I work with and I really liked the students that I got to work with. So that was special that my students who are my seniors last year were actually my freshmen when I was student teaching. So. Well, thank you for your time today. You're welcome. Those are your announcements. Have a great day and as always, Go, go Cards! cards.